Ever pondered over this? What might occur if you fell into a black hole? Would time stop for you? Time, it's a concept as familiar as the beating of our hearts, as the rising and setting of the sun. We measure our lives in it, from the fleeting moments that slip through our fingers like sand, to the grand epics that shape civilizations. Yet when we venture beyond the familiar confines of our blue planet, time reveals itself to be a far more complex and intriguing phenomenon. In the vast expanses of the cosmos, time doesn't always behave as we'd expect. It stretches, it warps, it bends under the immense influence of gravity. This is where the enigmatic black holes come into play, regions of space so dense, so heavy, that not even light can escape their gravitational pull. But what happens to time in these cosmic behemoths? For a long time, humanity's understanding of the universe was limited by the laws of Newtonian physics. But everything changed when a certain German genius named Albert Einstein stepped onto the stage. His theory of relativity, a revolutionary concept in the early 20th century, suggested that space and time are woven together in a four-dimensional fabric known as space-time. According to Einstein's theory, the heavier an object, the more it warps the fabric of space-time around it. Imagine a bowling ball placed on a trampoline. It creates a deep indentation, a well of sorts. Now if you were to roll a marble around this indentation, it would follow a curved path, wouldn't it? That's essentially what happens to time in the vicinity of a black hole. It gets drawn into the gravitational well, causing it to slow down from our perspective. And if you were to fall into a black hole? Well, from your perspective, time would seem to stretch on indefinitely, almost as if it is stopped entirely. But of course, that's a one-way trip. Once you cross the event horizon, there's no coming back. Let's dive deeper into this enigma and explore the mysteries of time and black holes. Einstein's theory of relativity, ever heard of it? It is the key to unlock the mystery of time and black holes. Now, let's start with the basics. Einstein's theory of relativity is a monumental piece of scientific work that has reshaped our understanding of the universe. In simple terms, it postulates that the laws of physics are the same for all non-accelerating observers. But the real kicker here is the concept of space-time. Imagine a fabric, a blanket if you will, that's stretched out. This is our universe. Now on this blanket, time and space are not separate entities. Instead, they're woven together into a single continuum known as space-time. Picture threads of space interlacing with threads of time, forming a unified tapestry. That's space-time for you. Now here's where things get really interesting. This space-time isn't rigid, it's flexible, bending and curving under the weight of mass and energy. This bending of space-time is what we perceive as gravity. The greater the mass or energy, the greater the curve, and the slower time passes. This is why your head ages faster than your feet because time moves slower closer to the Earth's mass. And it's not just about where you are, but also how fast you're moving. According to Einstein, if you were to zip around at near light speeds, time would literally slow down for you compared to someone standing still. This effect, known as time dilation, has been proven accurate by countless experiments. So, we've got a universe where time and space are entwined, where time can slow down or speed up, depending on how high you are and how fast you're moving. Sounds wild, doesn't it? But, hold on to your hats, folks, because we're just getting started. If space-time can be so malleable, so flexible, what happens when we bring a black hole into the picture? A mass so great that it devours light itself. So, if time can be flexible, what happens near or inside a black hole? Guess what? Things get even stranger. The event horizon sounds ominous, right? It's the point of no return in a black hole. Now let's dive into this captivating concept. The event horizon is much like the edge of a waterfall. Once you're over the edge, there's no swimming back upstream. With a black hole, once you cross the event horizon, there's no escaping the gravitational pull. To understand this, imagine yourself in a spacecraft, drifting closer to a black hole. As you approach, you would start to notice something peculiar. Your watch, your onboard clocks, everything starts to slow down. But why does this happen? It's because of the black hole's immense gravitational pull. Gravity, as we know, has a profound effect on time. The stronger the gravity, the slower time moves. This is a consequence of Einstein's theory of relativity. So, as you inch closer to the black hole's event horizon, the pull of gravity becomes so intense that time starts to crawl. Now let's consider a different perspective. If someone were observing you from a safe distance, they would see your time slowing down. For them, every tick of your clock would take longer and longer until it appears to stop entirely. 
This is the moment you've crossed the event horizon. However, here's the twist. You, in your spacecraft, wouldn't notice a thing. Your time feels normal to you. It's only when comparing your time to the observer's time that the difference becomes apparent. You're caught in a cosmic slow motion while the rest of the universe zips by at its usual pace. This is the fascinating and somewhat eerie phenomenon of time dilation. As you fall into a black hole, your time slows relative to the rest of the universe due to the black hole's overwhelming gravitational pull. So, as you fall into a black hole, from an outsider's perspective, they would see your time slow and eventually stop at the event horizon. But what about from your perspective? Scene script. Imagine you're falling into a black hole. What happens to your time? The answer might surprise you. Let's dive right in, shall we? Picture yourself on a journey, a journey into the belly of a black hole. You might think that as you approach the black hole, time would come to a grinding halt. But here's the kicker. It doesn't, not for you at least. From your perspective, time would continue to chug along as usual. You see, time is a slippery character. It behaves differently depending on where you are and how fast you're moving. This is a fundamental aspect of Einstein's theory of relativity. As you plunge into a black hole, from your viewpoint, time would keep on ticking. You would cross the event horizon, the point of no return, in a finite amount of time. However, things get really interesting when we consider what an outside observer someone watching you fall into the black hole, would see. To them, your descent would appear to slow down as you approach the event horizon. You would seem to hover there, suspended in time, your image gradually redshifting and fading away. But you, the intrepid black hole explorer, would notice none of this. You would continue your plunge, oblivious to the time dilation effects being witnessed by the outside observer. This is one of the most mind-boggling aspects of black holes. They warp space and time to such extreme degrees that intuitive concepts we hold about the nature of reality start to break down. And let's not forget, once you cross the event horizon, there's no coming back. You're on a one-way trip to singularity, the point at the very center of the black hole, where densities become infinite. But that's a story for another day. So, to sum it all up, if you were to take the plunge into a black hole, you wouldn't notice any changes in your perception of time. But to an outsider, time would appear to stretch out indefinitely, making it seem as though you're frozen in time. In essence, falling into a black hole, you would not notice any changes in time, but the rest of the universe would appear to move faster and faster. So, we have a paradox, don't we? Time stops for an outside observer, but not for the one falling in. How can this be? Welcome to the enigmatic world of the time paradox. It's a conundrum that has puzzled scientists and enthusiasts alike. It arises from the peculiar nature of black holes, where the usual rules of physics seem to twist and turn, leaving us with questions that still remain unanswered. Here's the paradox. If we were to watch someone falling into a black hole, from our vantage point it would appear as if their time has come to a standstill. They would seem to hover forever at the event horizon, the boundary of the black hole. But for the person falling in, time would continue as normal. They would fall in, past the event horizon, and into the unknown depths of the black hole. So how can time freeze and continue simultaneously? The answer lies in the way we perceive time. Time is not universal, it is relative. This means that time can appear different depending on where you are and how you're moving. This is a fundamental concept of Einstein's theory of relativity. However, this time paradox in black holes pushes the boundaries of relativity. It brings us to the edge of our understanding where we must confront the fact that our theories might not fully explain the nature of the universe. Is it possible that there's a new physics waiting to be discovered? A physics that can reconcile the time inside and outside a black hole? These are the questions that drive scientists to peer deeper into the mysteries of black holes. While this paradox remains unresolved, one thing is for sure. Black holes are fascinating and they challenge our understanding of the universe and time itself.